In quantum electrodynamics, there is a problem. The problem can only be put right in a process called renormalization. The calculations for each coupling on a Feynman diagram are infinite. These infin infinities can only be cancelled out by renormalization. I believe we have these infinities not because there is something wrong with the mathematics of quantum electrodynamics, but because we have no fundamental understanding of time. Sir Isaac Newton thought time existed as a thing in itself, and that time is connected to motion. But if time exists in itself, there must also be a process creating new moments in time that are also moments of infinity. I believe each coupling on a Feynman diagram represents such a moment in time, and this is why we have the infinities that have to be cancelled out by renormalization. From each photon-electron coupling, electromagnetic radiation will radiate out in light spheres of quantized wave fronts. When these wave fronts come in contact with electrons on the surface of other atoms, the wave function will collapse into new quantum particles in the form of photons that will have their own position in time and space. There is then a quantum leap of energy creating new wave functions of future possibilities. This is a continuous process within our universe that Einstein called stimulated emissions that creates a chain reaction of photon-electron couplings. Put very simply, the light emitted by an atom now is going to be absorbed by another atom later on, and this process creates the time continuum, or arrow of time. The mathematical infinities of quantum electrodynamics represent the infinity of our expanding universe in space and time. Everything that happens in our universe was first started at the quantum level, at the smallest unit of radiant energy, at the Planck constant. It is because energy and therefore mass is quantized that we see the universe moment by moment and have a flow of time. The only reason why we have a future and a past is because light, electromagnetic radiation, is continuously radiating out from its center source creating the momentum of time. Because the observer can choose when and where to collapse the wave function, we have free will to create our own future. The uncertainty principle of quantum physics is the same uncertainty that the observer will have with any future event. The quantum particle will only have a position in time and space if the wave particle function collapses. If the observer does not collapse the wave particle function into a moment of time, the quantum particle will only have the momentum of its own wave particle function. At a fundamental quantum level, the observer is the observed within his or her own created space-time. Therefore, the more accurately we know the position of a quantum particle, the less certain we are of its momentum. And if we know its momentum very accurately, then we can't be quite sure of where it is. This is because to observe the quantum particle, we have to create a photon-electron coupling, collapsing the particle wave function into a new quantum particle in space, and a new moment in time that is part of the observer's own created space-time. The best way to see this happen directly with light is the double-slit experiment. The light will expand in all possible directions as a wave particle function. When it reaches the screen with the two slits, the photons will react with the electrons of the screen. This will collapse the wave particle duality of the light, creating new moments in time and new quantum particles in space. The part of the wave that does not come in contact with the screen will expand in all possible routes going through both slits. When this wave particle function comes in contact with the screen, it will collapse, creating moments of time and quantum particles in space in the shape of an interference pattern. 
When the observer tries to determine which slit a photon passes through, the interference pattern collapses. This is because to observe the photon, we have to create a photon-electron coupling, collapsing the wave function, creating a new moment in time and a new quantum particle in space. Just like in Newton's first law of motion, the interference pattern will continue to maintain its state unless acted upon by an, ex by an external force. The only problem is the external force can only see one moment of infinity 